everyone who's watching this show right now. My name is Tatiana Kamenska and I'm thrilled to introduce you the At First Sight project where you will fall in love with Winnipeg's best spots and places while listening to the personal stories and experiences of the local citizens. Today I'm thrilled to introduce you Anthony Orso. Anthony is not only a content creator, but also he is a passionate explorer of Winnipeg. He is known for organizing exciting photo walks to showcase the Winnipeg's beauty. Hi, Anthony. Nice to see you today. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You know, that sounds like a pretty cool project. And, you know, one of my goals is just to show Winnipeg to the world and all the beauty that it has to offer. So, you know, I appreciate you having me and, you know, I'm excited to answer all your questions. Okay, thank you so much. So my first question, Anthony, uh, were you born in Winnipeg and do you live here permanently or have you had experience living in other countries or cities? Uh, yes, I was born here in Winnipeg, born and raised my entire life. Uh, I, I've done a lot of traveling throughout Canada to various different places, but in terms of permanent living, I've only ever lived here. Okay, so you saw different cities and uh, countries. Mm -hmm. And do you think that the Winnipeg is number one at your list? Well, I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody that Winnipeg is the most spectacular place in all of Canada. It's, it's certainly not, but it, it has beauties that sit when, uh, beneath it. And it's just my goal to show people that because Winnipeg has such a bad rap to, you know, most of the outside world. When you mention Winnipeg to people, they kind of, you know, go, right? But it, it really is a beautiful city. The people are so nice. And you know, once you actually stay here and live here and get to know the people, it really is a, an awesome place to be. Yeah, it's matter to not close their eyes on some problems, but it's also, I believe, it's not such bad as some people think. Okay, and from what I gather from your social media, like your main goal as a photographer is to showcase the beauty of the Winnipeg and to explore your hometown and to show it to other people. So how long have you been exploring Winnipeg and what was what is your favorite place here? Sure, yeah. I mean, I've been exploring Winnipeg now for, I think, going on six years. I just started when I was young throughout junior high and high school, just getting out and, you know, going on adventures and exploring, you know, the place that that we live in. You know, you can always go online and social media and see photos and videos of all these epic places that people post. But, you know, that's not realistic to, for a lot of people to go to these places. So sometimes you have to make do with where you are and you'd be surprised with what you could find. And I sure was, you know, throughout the six years that I've spent now exploring Winnipeg and photographing Winnipeg, I've really learned to see the true beauty that Winnipeg and Manitoba has to offer because it really is a beautiful city. Um, it's just, you know, once you spend so much time, you know, trying to find the beauty in something um, that people traditionally wouldn't think is beautiful. It's just, you know, you gain a new appreciation for it. Yeah. So, and what is your favorite place here? Uh, definitely, if I had to pick one place, I mean, there's so many beautiful areas, but my favorite place would have to be the Exchange District. Um, I always call it our mini New York. Um, so if, for anybody who hasn't been to the Exchange District, it is our heritage center of Winnipeg. It has all our old style architecture, so old brick and mortar buildings, and it just has that New York feel is the best way I can describe it. And I mean, I've been to New York, it's beautiful. So obviously there is no comparison in terms of size, but it, it just has that warmth and that energy and just that, that artistic background behind it. And it's just, you know, I would say it's the, the cultural hub of Winnipeg. Yeah, I was there previously maybe a few weeks ago and there are lots of different people that you can meet mm -hmm. there. So yeah, it's really nice place to visit in Winnipeg. So and in your opinion, why uh, people might like this place as much as you do? Well, I mean, there's, there's lots to love about Winnipeg. Obviously, the people are very friendly. On our license plate, it says friendly Manitoba. So it's a very friendly community. People are very helpful and welcoming. And, you know, 
Yeah, you could look at places like Vancouver and Toronto, but those places are, are so expensive and so inaccessible for most people. And Winnipeg is, you know, relatively speaking, in an affordable place to live. It's beautiful. And, you know, me personally, those big cities, they're just so chaotic and so difficult to get around. Winnipeg, it's a big enough city that it has absolutely everything you need, but it's not so big that you feel like it's chaotic. It's just the perfect size in my mind. Yeah, thank you. And I saw your photos on Instagram. It's really spectacular. Thank you. Uh, so which place inspires you more? And perhaps you have some interesting stories that was happened to you while you were taking some photos here or videos. Yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, inspiration for my photography, it would still also have to be the exchange district just because the architecture is so stunning for photos, especially at night. Once the lights go down, um, the city lights start to come out and they have all old like halogen bulbs <laughs> all throughout the streets there. It's such a like hallmark feeling is the best way I can describe it when you're walking around the exchange district. And I mean, in terms of an interesting story, um, for anybody who has never heard of it, uh, every year we have an event called Nuit Blanche here in Winnipeg. And it's pretty much arts one night stands. So there's art installations all over the city and you know thousands and thousands of people come out at night to go explore. And that's all over the exchange district. Um, so just, you know, being out in, you know, seas of people in the exchange district is just a, it's a great feeling. So that's definitely one of my best moments I'd say in the, in the exchange district. Yeah, and we already talked about the, uh, some different opinions that people have about the Winnipeg. So have you ever received a negative feedback about the city from a cultural uh, perspective? And has anyone uh, told you that there is nothing to uh, look at in Winnipeg? And what is your opinion about absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, people love to post negative comments on social media all the time. I've had many hundreds and hundreds of comments of people you know, on my Instagram or TikTok, leaving comments, you know, saying how bad Winnipeg is. So I get, I get that all the time. But it's just one of those things that, you know, when you're looking from the outside, Winnipeg just has that stereotype and it's, it's hard to change people's minds. So it's just when people see, you know, me posting the beauty, the beauty of Winnipeg, um, they just find it hard to believe, like that they're just showing it from a nice angle or trying to make it look prettier than it is. But that's just the real Winnipeg. That's how I see it. So yeah, lots of negative comments, but you just, you know, ignore them and just keep trying to show the people the real Winnipeg and how beautiful it is. Yeah, that's the only way like to avoid these negative comments and just to keep doing what you like to do and to show like your opinion and uh, how do you see this city. And uh, Coming back, uh, you have already mentioned your favorite place in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. And what if uh, someone comes uh, here for a short uh, weekend and doesn't have much time to explore the city? Uh, which place do you think could be the best one that will capture the spirit of Winnipeg? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you only had one day to explore Winnipeg, I'd say probably visit the Forks. Um, it's just what Winnipeg is kind of known for. The Forks is where Winnipeg originally started however many hundreds of years ago. Excuse my lack of history knowledge, but that's where Winnipeg originated from and grew from. It's the heart of Winnipeg and it's just a, a beautiful location. Um, we have the Forks markets where there's lots of amazing places to get food and drink. And in the summer, there's lots of walking trails and you can see all the beauty of Winnipeg around there. If you're here in the winter, the Forks does an amazing job setting everything up with Christmas lights and they have skating trails throughout the river and all over the Forks. So if you can only come for one day, definitely go to the Forks. Okay, and just for like, uh, as a final question, what does Winnipeg mean to you maybe in one word or sentence? In one word, Winnipeg means home. Winnipeg's my home. You know, like I said, I, I've traveled to so many different places across Canada and throughout the world. But at the end of the day, after a long trip, I'm always glad to be home. It's, it's my home and it probably always will be. I love Winnipeg.
As we wrap up this episode of At First Sight, I want to thank you, Anthony, for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know, it's just so awesome to get to see other people trying to promote Winnipeg as hard as I am because there's, it just has such a bad stereotype and a bad rap to it. So to see other local Winnipegers here trying, uh, trying their best just to show the world the true beauty of Winnipeg, I'm just happy to help and thanks for having me. Yeah, it's really important and I hope that you have enjoyed this episode with us. For now, I have to say goodbye and see you at the next episodes. Thank you.